You are listening to the Cellulite Site Podcast, episode number five, Unlocking the Secrets of Dry Brushing, a comprehensive guide to brushes, techniques, and health benefits. Step three in the Cellulite Circuit. Welcome to the Cellulite Site, where we meet cellulite challenges with care, confidence, commitment, community, compassion, concern, consistency, and courage. And now your host, Bree Cox Kennedy. Hello, my beautiful friends. I hope you're enjoying a fantastic day and are well on your way to forming your new daily rituals, incorporating the steps from the cellulite circuit. Welcome to episode five. In this episode, we are going to be focusing on the third step in your daily routine to help combat and conquer those stubborn areas where cellulite has developed. If you're not familiar with steps one and two of the cellulite circuit, I encourage you to go back and listen to those episodes as each step in the cellulite circuit is designed to be stacked on top of each other and performed on a daily basis. Many of you have undoubtedly heard of dry brushing and perhaps have even tried it a couple of times here and there. I've incorporated this ancient Ayurvedic method into the cellulite circuit as it stimulates circulation, encourages lymphatic system support, and enhances detoxification. In this podcast, we will take a deep dive into the benefits of this daily ritual. While supporting studies are anecdotal, they still prove to be an encouraging step to incorporate into our daily routine as we combat cellulite using several different methods to help reduce the appearance in the shortest time possible. Here are three published studies that I thought would be interesting to share with you. Number one, effects on circulation. A study published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology in 1993 examined the effects of increased circulation in the superficial blood vessels of the epidermis may contribute to a temporary improvement in the skin appearance and may have some positive effects on overall skin health. The mechanical action of dry brushing can stimulate the skin and may lead to a warming sensation, suggesting increased blood flow to the surface. Number two, we've touched on this a couple of times, lymphatic system support. A study published in Lymphatic Research and Biology in 2011 investigated the effects of mechanical massage, including dry brushing, on the lymphatic system. The study suggested that mechanical stimuli could encourage lymphatic contractility. That's a tough word. Number three, cellulite reduction, which is why I find this so interesting. Research published in the International Journal of Dermatology in 1999 explored the effects of massage techniques, including dry brushing, on cellulite. While the study concluded that massage may have a temporary effect on the appearance of cellulite, more research is needed to establish long-term benefits. It's possible that immediately after a vigorous session of dry brushing, increased blood flow may briefly plump up your skin. But ladies, remember, our goal with this step is to encourage lymphatic drainage. So let's discover why there is a revival in modern wellness culture when it comes to dry brushing. In recent years, dry brushing has experienced a resurgence in popularity as part of the broader wellness movement. It has been embraced by advocates of natural health and holistic well-being, contributing to its current status as a widely practiced self-care ritual. Dry brushing is an ancient wellness practice with roots in various cultures, and its history spans different regions and time periods. While it's challenging to pinpoint the exact origin, 
evidence suggests that dry brushing has been part of traditional health and beauty practices for centuries. Dry brushing is believed to have its roots in Ayurveda, the traditional system of medicine that originated in ancient India. However, many cultures throughout the world, such as Japanese, Turkish, Nordic, Scandinavian, and European, have all adopted this method, all focusing on stimulating circulation and promoting overall well-being. So you may be asking, why is promoting circulation on targeted areas beneficial for the reduction of cellulite? There are several reasons that may have you excited to start incorporating step three of the cellulite circuit into your daily routine. Number one, improved blood flow. Enhanced circulation helps deliver oxygen and nutrients to the cells in the targeted areas. Improved blood flow contributes to the overall health of the skin and underlying tissues. Number two, detoxification. Efficient blood circulation aids in the removal of waste products and toxins from the body. By supporting the body's natural detoxification process, Circulation may help reduce the accumulation of substances that contribute to cellulite. Number three, here we go again, lymphatic drainage. The lymphatic system plays a crucial role in maintaining fluid balance and removing waste from tissues. Improved circulation is associated with better lymphatic drainage, which may reduce fluid retention and contribute to a smoother appearance. Number four, stimulation of collagen production. Dry brushing or massaging the skin can stimulate collagen production. Collagen is a protein that provides structure and elasticity to the skin. Strengthening the connective tissues may help minimize the appearance of cellulite. Number five, Breakdown of fatty deposits. Enhanced circulation may support the metabolism of fat cells. While cellulite is not solely caused by excess fat, promoting the breakdown of fatty deposits can contribute to a reduction in the visibility of cellulite. So my friends, hopefully those benefits were convincing enough as to why you should incorporate dry brushing into your daily routine. Let's now explore some pros and cons of the different types of bristles offered in dry brushes. Number one, we've got natural bristle brushes. Crafted from natural materials like boar or cactus bristles, these brushes offer a firm texture, but are gentle enough for exfoliation without causing irritation. The bristles help remove dead skin cells, promoting a smoother complexion. The firm texture of these brushes can stimulate blood flow and lymphatic drainage. Improved circulation can contribute to a healthier looking complexion and may aid in detoxifying the skin. The use of natural materials in these brushes aligns with eco-friendly and sustainable practices. Boar and cactus bristles are renewable resources, making these brushes an environmentally conscious choice compared to synthetic alternatives. Regular exfoliation with natural bristle brushes can help remove the outer layer of dead skin cells, allowing skincare products to penetrate more effectively. This can maximize the benefits of serums, moisturizers, and other skincare treatments. This is important as in steps 6 and 7 of the cellulite circuit, we will be incorporating nutritional oils such as castor oil in the cupping routines. Our second brush is a synthetic bristle brush. One of the primary benefits of synthetic bristle brushes is that they are not derived from animal sources. 
This makes them a cruelty-free and vegan alternative for individuals who prefer to avoid animal products in their skin care and beauty routines. Synthetic brushes are often hypoallergenic, making them a suitable choice for those with allergies or sensitivities to natural fibers. They are less likely co- to cause irritation or to trigger allergic reactions, providing a gentle option for a wide range of skin types. Synthetic bristle brushes are genuinely more durable and resistant to wear and tear compared to natural bristles. They can withstand exposure to water and various skincare products without losing their shape or effectiveness. Synthetic bristle brushes do not have the natural odor that can be associated with some animal-derived brushes. This can be particularly appealing for individuals who are sensitive to or dislike the scent of natural materials. Number three, silicone brushes. Silicone brushes provide a gentle and flexible texture on the skin. While they may not offer the same level of exfoliation as natural or synthetic bristle brushes, they are well suited for individuals with sensitive skin who prefer a milder approach to dry brushing. The flexibility and smoothness of silicone makes these brushes easy to maneuver across the skin. This can be particularly beneficial for individuals who are new to dry brushing or those with mobility issues, as the brushes can adapt to the contours of the body. Silicone brushes are durable and resistant to wear and tear. They can withstand exposure to water and are less likely to deform or break over time. Unlike natural or synthetic bristle brushes, silicone brushes do not shed bristles over time. Silicone is hypoallergenic and less likely to cause allergic reactions or skin sensitivities. This makes silicone brushes a suitable option for individuals with sensitive skin or those prone to allergies. Indulging in the ritual of daily dry brushing has been a game changer for me. And my go-to brush choice is always a natural bristle brush. I like one with a short handle. I use it as my secret weapon, granting me the control I need for a focused and targeted experience. I don't need to reach my back. I'm all about precision on my problem areas, so I don't need one with the long handle. The drawback to the brush that I personally use and am going to recommend is that the bristles do wear down after about a month and a half. They become flat on one side where I tend to tilt the brush. However, it's not enough to make me want to change it out quite yet. It does everything I need it to do, and as inexpensive as it is, it's a small trade-off for the improvements that I'm noticing on my skin. What sets it apart? Well, it's not just the short handle. The brush head is 360 degrees of bristle magic. (laughs) That makes it my absolute favorite. Intrigued? Trust me. Once you start noticing smoother skin, it's a self-care investment that you won't regret. Personally, I find the brushes that combine natural bristles with silicone teeth a bit off-putting. There's a very unusual sensation when using the dual brush, almost as if the silicone component hovers on the skin with a pulling sensation on the surface of the skin. The feel of the dry brushes alone seems more effective, ensuring a deeper and more satisfying experience. In the realm of the cellulite circuit, where time is precious, it's essential to make every moment count, ensuring our investment is well spent in time and finances for optimal results. Just like in all my podcasts, you will find an affiliate link in the description below for the brush that I personally use and recommend on a daily basis. Your orders through these links contribute and support the channel, allowing me to consistently deliver valuable content to you each week. The best dry brushing method is to begin by brushing toward the heart in firm upward strokes. 
Since I'm approaching this step with the cellulite circuit in mind, I focus only on the targeted areas that I want to improve. One of the reasons for this is that I want to allocate more time to get through the entire cellulite circuit. I focus on my problem areas, focusing on my hips, thighs, and buttocks. Wherever you do start, brush in the direction of your heart. Use lighter pressure on sensitive areas and avoid cuts, bruises, or irritations. I set my timer for 30 to 40 seconds and target one section at a time. It takes me under three minutes to finish the dry brushing. However, each step in the cellulite circuit is designed to be customized to fit within your allocated time frame. So feel free to adjust according to your schedule. As I wrap up the third step in the cellulite circuit, I hope that you have found the information to be helpful in assisting you to understand why you should also incorporate dry brushing into your daily routine. Since I have committed to this ritual every day for the past month and a half, I have found a newfound smoothness on my legs, hips, and buttocks, and I am very excited about that. But that is not all. For my whole life, I've been dealing with spider veins and struggling with poor circulation, two issues that are intricately linked. I wanted to add that even within this relatively short period of time, I've witnessed a remarkable reduction in those pesky little tiny spider veins on my thighs something to celebrate. So my beautiful friends, the cellulite circuit transcends mere skincare. It's a soulful expedition into embracing my body, quirks and all, underpinned by commitment, compassion, and confidence. The excitement continues to build as I anticipate more visible improvements as I continue to commit to the cellulite circuit. Join me on this journey and get ready for your exhilarating transformation. If you've found the information in this podcast helpful, please consider sharing it with friends and loved ones who you think could benefit from it. My goal and dream is to be a source of empowerment for women worldwide. Having invested numerous hours in searching for top-notch product recommendations, We've assembled the perfect selection to jumpstart your cellulite circuit morning routine. Take advantage of this opportunity by clicking on the affiliate links below to acquire all the necessary items for your thrilling journey toward a revitalized self. Your purchases through these links not only transforms yourself, but also aids in the channel. And your support is genuinely appreciated. Embark on your transformation today and play a role in the expansion of our exciting community. Visit us at thecellulitesite.com for inspiration and valuable information. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms for your daily doses of encouragement. Empower your journey one day at a time, my beautiful friends. I love you, and I will see you here in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in to The Cellulite Site. We appreciate you being part of our community, dedicated to exploring and sharing insights on cellulite health. Connecting with confident women like you is what makes this journey so fulfilling. Our mission is to simplify your path to progress and spare you from months of uncertainty. If you're ready to take your journey to the next level, visit thecellulitesite.com to grab your cellulite circuit checklist. Embark on your transformative journey today and in the coming weeks, witness firsthand how these concepts can make a positive impact. Remember, it's not just about absorbing information intellectually. It's about committing to the work and celebrating the results. A quick reminder, the content shared is based on personal experiences and perspectives and is not medical advice.